You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Bold and Beautiful fans, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we want to talk about Liam Spencer going dark after he signed the divorce papers this week and what he's going to do next. I want to talk about real quick, though, a couple of really funny things that Scott Clifton has said about his character. I know a lot of people in the comments are like, oh, you just hate Liam. I do. I just like his waffling ways. And so does Scott Clifton, the actor who plays him. A couple of years ago, he tweeted that he wants to choke Liam as much as y'all do. He was addressing the fans. He called Liam a terrible person and said the bottom line is he can't change the story that Bold and the Beautiful writers are telling. He just has to find a way to try and make it plausible and humanize Liam as best he can. And then... (laughs) In an interview the next year, he was talking, he was being asked, why do you think that Hope and Steffi keep taking this guy back? And he jokingly said the only and the most plausible answer is that Liam is well endowed. (laughs) And what's really funny is Annika was in on that interview. Of course, Annika plays Hope, and she agreed that that is the only reason that Hope would keep taking Liam back. So that doesn't seem to be helping him if it's true about, about Liam, because Hope seems to have found a BBD, a bigger, better deal with Thomas. So the other thing that Scott Clifton said about Liam was that he would love to see, to get to play a darker version of Liam Spencer. And that might definitely be coming because of some brand new spoilers. We're going to dig into all that for you. And we have some ideas of exactly what Liam will do when he goes dark. Hey, if you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our B&B updates, news, and spoilers. All right. So by Friday of this week on Bold and the Beautiful, the week of July 17th through the 21st, Liam is divorced. And they're going to sign papers. He's going to take off his wedding ring. And before anybody comments, you can't legally get divorced in California for six months. Yes, I know. I know. The bold and the beautiful writers don't know, nor do they care. And that's why they write up these illegal rapid divorces, these illegal annulments, things that would never get through the court system. You know, it's just, it's constant nonsense. If you look back at all the divorces on B&B, it's like they sign like, oh, I'm divorced. I can do what I want. Of course, Hope was already doing what she wanted and what she was doing was Thomas. But nonetheless, Liam is going to sign the divorce papers with Hope. She has them in hand prepared. So she's obviously gone by, you know, divorce R us or called up Carter, or maybe she's just had these same papers in the drawer for five years from all the other times she's thought about leaving him. Either way, uh, they sign, he takes off his ring, and then Friday, this is where the spoiler about him going dark begins. It says he's got a plan and he's scheming. So if we are presuming that Liam Spencer is going to go into dark places because he's all alone in the world. This is the first time poor little William doesn't have either Steffi or Hope on his arm. He's got neither. So what else can he do but go dark? You know, he can't get tender or, I don't know, spend some time reflecting about the error of his ways. No, he's going to go dark. So we do have some ideas of what we think Liam might do. First on that list is maybe he's going to try and take Steffi from Finn because he ran right to Steffi and kissed her after, you know, telling Hope he wanted a divorce. And then after they ink the papers, he's going to see Steffi at Il Giardino. She's going to be completely shocked. The last thing she wants is him divorced because she knows a single Liam is a problem for her. And that might come to fruition. He's not a guy that's necessarily going to take no for an answer. And he, there are things he can do to ruin Steffi's marriage. Of course, if he does these, she might be angry at him and wouldn't think about dating him, but that doesn't mean that Liam won't still do these things. So he could blab to Finn about the kiss, or he could try and interfere in their marriage. You know, he may even pull out Brooke's dusty destiny card and try to tell Steffi, you're my destiny, whatever I have to do to take you out of this marriage with Finn and be with me. 
I don't know. But he definitely could be plotting against Steffi, even though he just told Wyatt, oh, I totally respect her marriage. Bruh, no, you don't, or you wouldn't have had your lips on her face in the house where she lives with her husband. So I don't buy it, and I don't believe that Liam is going to stay on the right side of morality where Steffi's marriage is concerned. Again, no firm spoiler on this, but this is what I feel based on his character and his actions recently. The next thing he may do is... This is extreme. I actually don't think he's going to do this, but I do want to talk about it because I think it's kind of fun. Uh, He could try and just take Thomas out. Would Liam go full Bill Spencer like Bill did with Ridge when he had Justin Barber throw him out of that helicopter? Would he actually hurt Thomas? Would he actually do something to him? Maybe he thinks Thomas deserves whatever happens to him because of his past actions. I mean, he could physically assault Thomas. He could try and frame him for a crime. He could try and destroy his reputation. You know, there's a lot of things that he could do under the rationale of Thomas deserves bad things because he has been a bad person in his past. The third thing on our list, and again, I think that one is least likely. Liam's not violent. He's a waffler. He's a cheater. He's a liar. He's a lot of things, but he's, he's not been a violent person for the most part. But would Liam gaslight Hope to mess up her relationship with Thomas? Remember, Liam accused Hope of gaslighting him. He said, basically said she'd been gaslighting him this whole time, that she was interested in Thomas and was lying to him and reassuring him. She doesn't see it that way. She sees it as that she was in denial. She was trying to bury those feelings. She, But he's like, oh, no, you told me you weren't having these feelings. And he actually used the word gaslighting. So, you know, back in the days of slippery, tricky Thomas before he had brain surgery and serious therapy that wasn't with his mommy, he he did. He gaslit Hope and Douglas both. So Liam may justify this thinking that he, in the end, that it's the best thing for Hope by working to break her up with Thomas you know, there's no way that Liam can stomach them winding up happy together. So would he gaslight Hope to try and ruin that relationship? Yeah, I think he might do that. And again, the excuse is, oh, well, Hope gaslit me and she doesn't need to be with him. He's bad. So the other question, the fourth thing we've been thinking about is whether Liam will try and ruin Hope for the future. Because Liam sees her fashion line as the nexus, the door that let Thomas back into her professional life and then into her personal life over Liam's multiple ongoing and stringent objections. In Liam's mind, hope for the future was the runway that led to this whole situation. And remember, the Spencer Publications family owns Ion Fashion Magazine. He and Wyatt have been developing this fashion app. So maybe Liam will use the weight and influence of Spencer Publications to trash hope for the future to punish Hope and Thomas by killing this thing they both love. I definitely could see Liam being that petty. So the fifth thing that we are seeing is we expect Thomas and Hope to keep moving at a rapid pace in this relationship, as they've done already by hitting the sheets, you know, right after Liam said divorce. She's like, divorce? Okay. <laughs> and then she runs over and takes off her dress and hops on Thomas and woohoo, a whole week of sex scenes. So... And she also was very clear with Brooke, like, I don't want to be married to a man who loves more than one woman. I've watched you be miserable. I am not going down your path. Brooke thinks, oh, you're going down my bad path with Deacon, but Hope's like, no, I'm getting myself out of going the path that you've done with Ridge, your your dusty destiny path that has made you miserable. So I fully believe that Thomas and Hope are going to keep moving relationship-wise along at this really good clip. And Liam's going to hate all of that. And I think that Hope is going to wind up moving into Thomas's place because, of course, Brooke is not going to let Thomas move into the cabin that's on the Logan estate. So it makes more sense for them to go to Thomas's house. He's got this nice house now, this house set that used to be Katie's back in the day. And she can just bring Douglas and Beth. But... But that could be a pivot point for Liam to really lose it. We'll talk about that in one second. But if you haven't, please click subscribe so you don't miss any of our bold updates. And if you're enjoying this discussion of Liam going dark, we'd love it if you'd click a like. All right. So um, 
we we mentioned this in a standalone video, and we still suspect that Liam might pull a stunt where he tries to take custody of Beth because he is not going to want Thomas to be a daily presence in Beth's life. I think whatever whatever Liam does as he's heading down this dark path, he's always going to have this rationale of. I can do this because Thomas is bad. I can do this because Hope cheated. I can do this because Hope lied. I can do this because Thomas used to gaslight. You know, I think he can rationalize doing whatever he wants to do, and that includes taking Beth's, uh, Hope's child, Beth, away from her if he can. And there was an interesting little tidbit on Monday's show where Kelly Spencer, who of course is Liam and Steffi's daughter, woke up from a nightmare, came into the room where Steffi was talking with Ridge, and she said she had this bad dream that Daddy couldn't get to her. Some people are wondering if Kelly might be targeted with Hayes by Crazy Sheila if she makes her escape during her trial this week. Or maybe this is something to do with Liam behaving so badly that Steffi has to limit his access to Kelly until he gets his head out of his backside. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out more. But let us know what you think about Liam going dark in the wake of his divorce. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.